My name is Edward, and I'm addicted to jigsaw puzzle threads on 4chan. I've been using 4chan for the majority of my life. I'm 28 years old, and I started browsing in 2008. It all started for me about a month ago, after I got fired from work for sending a document to the CEO with the file name I can't sneed.pdf. I got home that night and I ended up getting really shit-faced and watching Kitchen Nightmares, but I decided to turn it off and browse 4chan instead after I remembered that Gordon Ramsay's credibility was ruined forever when he tried to make a grilled cheese sandwich in a fireplace on a cast iron stove. Look at this. Look at this shit. What's a fucking... A fucking skillet in the fire? Are you serious? In the fucking fireplace? Mental cheese isn't even fucking melting. Wait, where's the bit where he cuts it? Where's the bit where he cuts it? It's not even fucking melted. Look, he knows. He fucking knows. Why did he upload it? Now fucking eat it, you fat fuck. I don't play video games, so V is my favorite board on 4chan. I used to post random sexual fan art of cartoon characters and then ask people for video game recommendations in the hopes that people would instead just post more fan art, but eventually the admin started wising up to me and banning my posts on site. Then I found the jigsaw threads. At first I only clicked on the obvious porn ones. I thought it might be really erotic to not know what something was until you put it together piece by piece, but it turns out that most other people on the website are into just weird, bizarre shit. Like, I just don't really understand it myself. I just- why are there so many fucking Splatoon ones? They're so- I don't care if it's cute or funny or what- So after a while I realized that I actually enjoyed making the puzzles and putting them together. I started doing more and more and larger and larger puzzles with higher and higher piece counts. The thing that gets me the most about these threads is the fact that anyone can post a link to a puzzle with whatever image they choose. So once I dropped a puzzle link to a huge black empty square and the horde of anonymous puzzle solvers fixed it up in about seven minutes. Then I did it again with piece rotation turned on and it took them 13. The other day I spent 23 hours straight doing a 1000 piece puzzle with rotation enabled that just said puzzles are for faggots in big letters. I didn't realize that that was what it said until about nine hours into the puzzle. But at that point I was too far along to turn back. I don't know when I'll get tired of doing puzzles in these threads. There's just something so calming and relaxing about doing jigsaws all day with other like-minded people. Oh, this one's not looking too hot. Oh, looks like Jews did 9-11 just got here. Oh, that guy's great at puzzles.